four, five. I know Jesus is alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He is coming back again. Why did he has to die and come alive on yesterday? That's what he has to do to show God's love for me and you. Hello everyone, I am Miss Senia. Thank you for joining me to study God's Word together. Before I tell you the Bible story, let's fold our hands and bow our heads and talk to God just now. Dear Heavenly Father, you are omnipotent. You have all powers. Thank you for letting Jesus die on the cross for our sin and bring him back to life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I open up my Bible and what do I see? I see my friend Jesus smiling at me. I love to read my Bible. I read every day. So let's look inside and see what God has to say. Today's Bible story comes from John 20, verse 1 to 18. Everything from the Bible are God's true word. This is Mary, Jesus' friend. Mary was sad because Jesus died on the cross. Mary missed Jesus very much. Mary and her friends were going to Jesus' tomb. A tomb is a special place where they have put Jesus' body in. Mary and her friends wanted to put more good smelling spices on Jesus' body. When Mary and her friends arrived at Jesus' tomb, she was surprised that the stone that covered the tomb was open. Hmm, Mary looked inside, but Jesus was not there. Mary was very sad and she began to cry. Then Mary met two angels. The angels asked, why are you crying? Mary said, someone has took Jesus' body away. Mary didn't know that Jesus had come back alive. Someone was standing behind Mary. It was Jesus. Jesus called Mary's name, Mary. And Mary turned around and she saw Jesus. Mary was very happy and surprised that Jesus is alive. Jesus wanted Mary to tell everyone that God is omnipotent. God has all power to bring Jesus back to life. That's the end of today's Bible story. And I have some questions for you. Hmm. I have a question back here. Can you help me to pick a question? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Question number two. Hmm. Let me ask you, see if you know the answer. What is the place called that they put Jesus' body in? Uh, a tomb. Yes, yes. It's a tomb. They put Jesus' body inside a special place called a tomb. Okay. Another question. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, this one. Okay. Question number one. Jesus was not inside a tomb because... Because he was alive. Yes, because Jesus came back alive. So he's not there anymore. <laughs> Can you pick up the last question for me? Hmm. Question number three. Question number three. Who has the power to bring Jesus back to life? Uh, God. Yes, God. Only God has this power to bring Jesus back to life. Well done, everyone. From the Bible, John chapter 20, verse 9b, it says, Jesus had to rise from the dead. To rise from the dead, meaning coming back alive. 
Only God who has the power to bring Jesus back to life and to save us from our sin. How about we sing this scripture verse with the tune? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Jesus had to rise from the dead. Jesus had to rise from the dead. Jesus had to rise from the dead, from the dead. John 20, verse 9b. Very good. Do you want to do it one more time with me? Okay. One, two, three. Jesus had to rise from the dead. Jesus had to rise from the dead. Jesus had to rise from the dead, from the dead. John 20, verse 9b. Wow, very good. Now, how about we sing song to praise God? If you have a shaker, you can go get it. You can pause my video and go get your shaker. Are you ready? We're going to sing a song called Who is God? To praise God, okay? God is omnipotent. That means God has all powers. Ready? Let's sing. One, two, three. Who is God? God is the creator and holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. Very good. God has all power to bring Jesus back to life. Let's sing one more time. One, two, three. Who is God? God is the creator and holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. Very good. That's the end of today's Bible lesson. We'll see you next time.